Hello there and welcome to this tutorial on definite integration. Uh, you may have seen from my last video that I had this little ydx up here and this now has an a and a b to represent upper limit a and lower limit b. The upper and lower limits are used to find areas bounded by curves. For instance Let's say y or f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 3x plus 2. This looks something like this with b and a crosses the y axis at 2 and b is equal to minus 1 and a is equal to a half and this little this little shaded area here this is the area that we're trying to find the area bounded by those two upper and lower limits now to go about finding them we'll have first have to integrate f of x the integral of f of x is equal to right x cubed x n plus one three plus one four oh not minus four four Multiplied by one over this new power, and don't forget the two that was originally part of the x. We'll clean this up later. I just like to put it in rough for now. And we have the three x. Now m plus one, two plus one, three. Multiplied by one over this new power. Multiplied by one over three. And moving on to the three x. Right, x plus one, two. Multiplied by 1 over 2, this new power, plus 2. 2 on its own means x must be to the power of 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, so you just have x to the power of 1, or x. Square bracket. Now, as I said before, A and B are upper, low, upper and lower limits and on this specific cubic B is equal to minus 1 and A is equal to a half and to find this area we have to do F we have to get this equation here and we have to Substitute in a for all the x values or a half for all the x values and then subtract from that that same equation but with b minus 1 substituted into all the x values and this is how we do it. Then the integral. Half of minus one is equal to or well, a quarter times two is a half. So you have a half of a half.
squared equal to the power of 4 sorry minus 1 third times 3 which is equal to 1 you have minus a half cubed now a half times 3 3 over 2 times a half cubed squared sorry get yeah, my indices mixed up here <laughs> plus 2 times a half subtract from this a half of now we substitute in minus one we have minus one to the power of four minus minus one cubed minus three over two times minus one squared we have to go to a new line plus two minus minus one and bracket now we've got a lot of cleaning up to do here on this equation so we have a half to the power of 4 is 1 over 16 half of that is 1 over 32 minus a half cubed is 1 over 8 a half squared is a quarter now quarter times 3 over 2 3 eighths plus 2 times a half plus 1 minus minus 1 to the power of 4 is 4 times a half which is just a half minus 1 to the power of 4 is 1 times a half which is 1 times a half is a half minus minus 1 cubed which is minus 1 put in the brackets you don't get mixed up minus one, minus 1 squared is 1 times 3 over 2 is 3 over 2 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 is minus 2 and this is equal to 81 over 32 very nasty number but it's also equal to 2.53125 and that's definite integration for you with limit a and b finding an area enclosed by a curve and the x-axis now in our next video I'll find you how to find certain types of areas banded by curves and just certain limits for instance just here and here isn't bounded by the axis just got to find this area in here or I could teach you how to find areas under the x-axis stay tuned